busy morning, so I'm just going to get this out of the way early. That way I don't have to dress it later in the day. Here's some of the rumblings. I'm sure it's starting to come out. Most of you even sent me some comments about it last night. But just an update. Looks like James Houston might be a part of either a trade possibility or something of that sort with the Lions and other teams. And we all know the kid was just dominant last year, had something like eight sacks in seven games, et cetera, et cetera. But we need to keep a couple things in mind because earlier in the season when he wasn't the James Houston we all now know, he was cut by the Lions. When he was re-signed, that means he's no longer a part of that rookie contract. He's got a lesser contract now as far as uh, time and such. But I'm going to tell you this, as of last night and, uh, and confirmed more this morning, the Lions are talking about shopping this kid around. Is he going to be a part of some deal for, you know, Mike Evans, Cooper Cupper, or whoever else? That I can't say. It'd be speculation on my part. So I'm just going to say this, though. The coaching staff probably gave us the best clues of it. If you look back on the last preseason game against Carolina, who's out in the third quarter and then the fourth quarter of that game playing defense for Detroit? That's James Houston. Think about the last time you saw a prominent superstar out on the field of the of the last preseason game in both the third and fourth quarters. The Lions coaching staff is trying to tell us something and maybe tell James Houston something. Yeah, we can all say, hey, they're trying to develop him. They're trying to you know, add to his skill base and such. But are you really putting a superstar player out there in the fourth quarter of a meaningless preseason game? Probably not. So here's, here's what I'm guessing is going on. They may be listening to offers. They may be listening to offers that include something they want. As we talked about a couple days ago on the Sunday night Lions Talk Live edition with the Sarge, Tony Libretto, we knew that the Lions were going to be looking to address backup offensive linemen at the tackle positions. You know, and that's come to fruition. If you look at the cuts down that have happened so far, I think we can all agree the Lions are going to be looking for, for more offensive line tackle depth, you know, potentially running back. Uh, you know, I know talking to Dr. Detroit in the chats, and among other people like Silver Surfer and stuff, I think we all agree it wouldn't hurt them to add a little bit more defensive tackle depth. But James Houston does seem like he might be something of a trade option for them. Can they upgrade some other spots by, you know, getting this kid in a trade to someone else? That, I guess, we'll have to wait and see later today what's going to shake out. I personally, if you watched Lions Talk Live last year, this year, you know, I love the kid. I think he is, you know, he is Michael Jordan out there. He does have some holes in his game. He's not great against the run. He's okay in pass coverage, but not somebody you want there on the regular basis. But I'm going to ask all of you, would you rather have a guy that needs a lot of growth and development but is very good at rushing the passer? I mean, that, I'm going to go with yes on that. I want the kid because... He can get to the quarterback, and that is a premium in the NFL, college football, whatever have you. But as of this morning, I would say this to all of you guys. We need to be paying attention throughout the day until 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Are the Detroit Lions going to put James Houston into a trade scenario for some other players or player? So I, it's starting to look like it more and more that this, this may really go down. And I, I'm hoping not because I love James Houston. I want him to stay. I think he's got tremendous upside, but it doesn't matter what I think. doesn't matter what you think. I'm just telling you the facts. You're not putting that kid out on the field in the third and fourth quarter for extensive play in a preseason game, especially the last one. But it is what it is. I'll, uh, if I hear any other things, get some other updates for you guys. I will go ahead and try to do a quick video when I get a break. So take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you guys later on Lions Talk Live.